Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tara's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome Virgos out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does and what doesn't leave it on out. Also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future. And to be aware of any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here, Virgo. So this is a, a scenario as in always pay attention to your surroundings because you never know who's watching who's lurking okay okay all right because the first card that we have here is creeping all right now somebody was saying too could you please skip the karmic first of all i'm not going to disobey you know his story okay i mean his message god's message i'm not going to do that okay so it is what it is okay what's coming out is what's coming out all right but you do got somebody here that's creeping see some see this could be saving somebody's life Okay, me saying this message, so it is what it is. Okay, I don't even want to hear this shit my damn self. Okay, because negative as hell, but you do have people out there that is negative and that prey on the chosen or whatever you know, just praying on people one one on the clock. Okay, because they want something out of them or they miss them because or whatever it may be. Okay, but people be out here be really motherfucking creeping. Okay, so some of y'all got somebody here that's creeping. All right. This person could have hazel eyes, they don't have to, okay? But they can have some type of a colored eye, all right? This person is wanting to come towards you and give you some type of a dirty offer. Some of you, you already know that this person has dirty ass hands and you don't want nothing to do with this individual while you think they creep in, okay? We also have your idol. This person cannot help but look at you, 144 on the clock. This person cannot help but look at you and see that you are being loved, admired, child with a lot of attention at this time. All right, you could have even created some type of a fan base for some of you. Um, but then we also have here moving silence. But even though you may be in the public, you're being able to be seen, you still are moving in silence. Okay? Nobody knows about your whereabouts. Nobody knows where you live. Nobody knows, you know what I'm saying, of that nature. Okay? Nobody knows. Okay? You move in silence. You don't tell anybody your next move. You're very professional and strategic about your shit. Okay? But we have your obsessive lover. Somebody here is dangerous. Whoever this person is that's creeping is very dangerous. All right? Um, they're very toxic. They're unhealthy right now. And they're very possessive. Calm energy. Okay? So some of you need to be watchful. All right? Protect yourself at this time. It's nothing for you to be worried about, though. But just know you got somebody here that is creeping. I don't know if this person is a fan. Okay? Or what have you. Um... But we got here dodging bullets. You're blocking this negativity. You have an escape from this person already for some of y'all. Okay? You are being protected by your haters is what spirit is telling you at this time. So don't even worry about this, baby. Okay? We have here the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles and the six of swords. So for some of y'all, Virgo, it's like you moved away from this individual. And ever since you moved away from this person, I don't know if you could have kids by this person. For some of y'all, you don't have to. But for some of y'all, you could have moved away from this person with your children. And it's like ever since you left this person, this person has not been able to get on their two feet. Okay? They have not been able to find any sense of independence. Okay? Or sense of stability. This person has always been juggling money ever since you left. It's like they don't have their head on straight. They, they have been definitely um, operating in a lower vibration. Okay? Because they have been around low vibrational people. You were the light. You were the God. So therefore everything is gone. They have nothing. They have been lost and you know really going through it since you left them But that's not your problem. Okay, because there was a reason why some of you left this individual You know, maybe you sense that they were a creep. Okay, because damn you ain't even around this person or affiliated with this individual anymore And they creeping on your ass, you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing kind of threw me off. Okay, Virgo because I don't know if you got fire in your chart Okay um, but we got the Queen of Pentacles, which is you, and then we have the Queen of Staffs, and then we have the Page of Swords. So, so for some of y'all, this person is watching you in a fire sign, okay? They're watching you in a fire sign, or there's a fire sign watching you. Put it where it fits, okay? But I'm definitely getting like somebody here is watching you. Okay, they see how attractive you are, how you're stepping into like this leadership role here. Like they kind of low-key proud of you, but at the same time, it's like low-key. I'm, you know, obsession type, okay? Because it's like, this is somebody here that once knew you, I guess. And for you to, you know, make something of yourself is kind of shocking. Because it's like, they're still in that nine of pentacles in reverse energy, okay? And it could have been years and years. Maybe ten years for some of y'all. This person be going through a ten-year cycle of <laughs> a shitty-ass cycle, all right? But, yeah. So, then we have here, some of y'all, this could be a king of swords and a crazy Gemini Libra. 
All right, this person is even rejecting third parties. Like, they don't want, they're uninterested in these third parties. It's like they have their eyes stuck on you, glued on you. Okay? Is what I'm getting. So y'all gotta be careful. Because this is the type of person that always have a couple of women underneath their belt. And the fact that you're not, a, it's like, you you outdo all these hoes, okay? You outdo all these hoes. They cannot compare it to you. And this person knows that you are divine. So it's like it's driving them crazy. Like if they catch you, it's like, oh my gosh. But ugh, like you are out of their league. No offense, okay? I ain't trying to. But you are out of their league, okay, Virgo? This is what I'm getting. For my masculine Virgos, it's like you can have two women that's watching you, okay? So you need to be mindful of that. Yeah, they don't have any sensibility. I don't know. I don't, you know, or something of that nature. They're going through it for my masculine Virgos. But for my feminines, y'all got, I don't know if you got another feminine watching you, but you definitely have this king of swords watching you, okay? And the reject, okay, maybe that's why this other woman is watching you, Virgo, because of the simple fact that he is rejecting that other woman, all right, is what I'm getting. So you can have, so you're out here doing your thing, just minding your business, in the public eye, you know, just looking beautiful. Okay, very successful. And you got a feminine that's watching you due to this masculine. And then you also have a, um, this masculine watching you here. Because they see that you are an earth angel. Everything that you touch turns into gold. Like you are a powerful manifester. You are an alchemist of some sort. Okay, and they see that. That you are a pure light, pure joy. Okay, and it's like people, you are attracting the darkness. So, I'm telling you, you got to be watchful. Because somebody here wants to offer you something. Could be an Aquarius with the star energy. But this person is secretly jealous of you. Secretly in competition with you, whoever this person is. Okay? So it's like, be careful at this time is what I'm getting. Because these people could be going broke as well. Like I said, they don't have no sense of stability. Okay? They want to communicate with you, but it's like, now, nah. Yeah, fake accounts. They look down. They're looking you up through a fake account here. Okay? Through some type of social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Okay? Yeah, looking you up. But some of y'all, even if they did create a fake account, your, your page could be private as fuck. Okay, even if they do, you know, say so they ain't gonna see nothing but a damn profile picture. Okay, for some of y'all. Yeah. We got here marrying for money. But I tell you, this person is coming in because they want you for your wealth and your status and your, you know what I'm saying? They For clout, basically. Because this is the type of person that doesn't want to work for shit, but want to look the part. Ugh. We got here child support services. Look, I'm so sick of that card coming the fuck out. I don't know if somebody's trying to create some type of a scheme and a scam, okay, to try to get your kids taken away because they're jealous. All right, I hope the fuck they don't do that because if this is the father or the mother of your child, and they try to put call, you know, social uh, service, you know, CPS on you and they do some type of investigation. They're going to see that these kids are well taken care of, but you are a fucking bum. Whoever the cross watcher is, is doing this shit. They're going to see that you are a fucking bum, bitch. Okay? Because obviously you can't even withhold your independence. You're very codependent. And it sounds like whoever this masculine is, he uses women, okay, in order to get by. Bitch, you's a whole bitch. You, you the bitch. You the bitch. You the trick. Okay, because you are here trying to get a woman for what she has. Ugh. What is wrong with these type of men? Because I, I said type of man because I didn't say all men. Okay, these type of men. Ugh. Ugh. Nigga, you are the bottom of the bottom. Ugh. Oh, no. We got here drama started to start some drama because it's like, Whatever they try to do to you or what have you, it's like it's not working. And it's like they cannot get to you, get under your skin. I don't know. It don't matter what they say. They can be tarnishing your name. It doesn't matter. It's not getting to you. So they know that you love your children. And if this bitch is the father or the mother of your child, why would you do that? You don't even take care of your fucking children. Really? You're, you're, mm. Who? Let me not go there before I expose some motherfuckers and expose this motherfucking karma because I don't like that type of energy. But these people know that you love your kids and your kids are well taken care of and they're jealous. Okay? All right? Or maybe their kids are being taken away. We're going we gonna to see. We got here creativity moocher fed up. See, they mad because they can't steal off of you no more. Okay, this is deeper than what this is. Okay, this is just not a regular ass creep. This could have been an ex or something of that nature. Or this could be a, the father or the mother of you guys' child. Okay, let's see. What's child support services here for? Extra triggered. Bad karma. Ooh. <laughs> so try it if you want to. 
Whoever the cross watcher is that tried to do some bullshit like this, try it if you want to because it's going to backfire on your ass. Okay, you're, but you're going to end up in jail or something of the nature. It's going to it's going to backfire. I'm going to tell you that right now, bitch. If you already did it, your shit going to be fucked up. Okay? But if you're thinking about doing it, bitch, you better not do it. <laughs> you're going to be sitting somewhere crying, reflecting on your choices and your decisions, bitch. Okay? Yeah, all because you threatened by this divine feminine or divine masculine. Get out of here. Get up out of here with your lonely ass. Okay? You cannot force nobody to be in your life if they don't want to be bothered with you. Okay? You are simply not in their league. Take your little bitty peasant's ass position and move on with your life. I'm sorry. I'm keeping it too fucking real. Because it's just like I'm so tired of people trying to mess with people. Okay? People minding their goddamn business. If you focus on yourself, then maybe you will have something. Okay? Stop trying to tear somebody else's shit down. Alright? Because it's going to backfire anyway. You wasting your time, okay? Ugh, my goodness, you're gonna life. Okay. Anything else, spirit? Shit, let me get up out of here. Anything else, spirit? Hey, man, I'm telling you, Pisces energy. I'm telling you, stop it. Whoever this person is, stop it, baby, because you are already stuck. That's why you got all this time on your hand. I mean, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You got too much time on your hands, baby. Okay. So that's why you up here trying to pick at this idol here, okay? Stop it. Because you're going to put yourself in a deeper hole, all right? It's not going to end well for you. Stop it. You will never fucking win. You will never win, all right? Damn. I'm going to end it right there. I love you guys so freaking much. You guys need anything else from me, look in the description box below, okay? See you next time.